2012. My daughter had a birthday, she's disabled. She had a birthday party for children, for a disabled child, no alcohol involved. I don't drink alcohol, nor does my husband, right? This was a child's disabled birthday party. Now, my youngest daughter decided that her and her two friends should get all dressed up, bit of makeup, tits out for the lads, right? Age 13, very clever. Whilst the hustle and bustle of the party was going on, they slipped out to go to the shop. Now, the shop that they went to is over the road. It's now called the Leica Mobile West Norwood. When they went in that shop, they said to the man behind the shop, have you got any alcohol? And the man said, meet me round the back in 10 minutes. Oh no, he did ask her age and she said she was 15. So basically, the girls, after pissing about in the shop for ages, it was on the CCTV, you can even see the man going like that. You can't hear anything, but you can see him pointing to round the back, right? Where the girls go, round the back. Let's go and have a look what the back's like. That's the front. This is where they walked along here, up Fallen Road. As you can see, well, they came to this alleyway, which they've been working on. At the end of the alleyway, they met the man that works in the shop. His name's Amir, okay? Now this man, Amir, got three 13 year old girls, met him here and said, come round the back, right? They went round the back. I don't know what one it is. One of these, probably this one with a padlock on, or it could be that one. No, it's Black Gates. I remember Black Gates, because I was in court watching all this. So these are black gates, must be, where Amir told the children to meet him. Now, when they got here, he said, I'll give you 10 pounds and a mini bottle of vodka. He didn't say mini bottle, he just said a bottle of vodka. If you give me a blow job and I want you, pointing to the white girl. Well, she said, I'm not that type of girl. I don't do that sort of thing. Let me go and speak to my friends. So she spoke to her friends and unlucky for some, her friend was into it. She said, I'll do it if you come with me. So they came up here, they met the man. What did the other girl do? She stood behind the door because she's a big girl and she could protect them if anyone tried to rape them. Right, so. The girl gets on her knees, the 12, 12 year old girl gets on her knees here in the back of this shop and sucks the bloke's cock till he busts in her mouth. And then what? He gives them 10 pounds and a mini bottle of vodka. They go home, they go and buy some chicken. Yes, chicken, well worth a gobble. So anyway, the next day, takes the mini bottle of vodka empty into school and gets found with it by her teacher. She wants to confess what has happened because she's scared of what has happened. She's an innocent young girl and she knows that what has happened is wrong. So she wants to confess. So she confesses to her teacher what happened the night before with the man called Amir in this shop. So her confession to the police wasn't very good. Hi, is Amir here, please? No. Um, do you know when he'll be in, please? He's not here. He's not here. He was here yesterday. My daughter saw him. Why is that? Why have I got to turn it off? Because Amir was in court for letting my daughter's friend suck his cock. 
You're telling me that's cool? I don't know about this. No, so I, I'd like to speak to Amir if that's possible, because the man's not guilty, he's innocent. He didn't do it. He's not here, he's, he's at home. He's at home. Okay, bless him. Tell him, mum forgives him, because it wasn't that sucked his cock, and I don't give a fuck. All right. But you obviously don't give a fuck either. Amir is a child molester and you don't care. She was 12 years old when I she she was this. asked by Amir for I don't know about a gobble. Things. I don't know about these things. Okay, you don't know about these things. Fair enough. I you must be here. blind, deaf and dumb because you know Amir has been in court. Best to call someone. My yeah. daughter came in here. She says, you got any alcohol? The bloke said, how old are you? She said, 15. She was lying, she was 13. He took her around, but actually she was 12 because it happened on the 2nd of October last year. And Amir took her around the back and got her friend to suck his cock. And then he walked out of court because there's an element of doubt because children's words against a nasty man don't run, does it? Anyway, I'm going to the press with this. Disgusting, a disgusting shop full of disgusting men that are denying they know anything about the blowjob that took place here. Beware this shop, there is a paedophile in this shop that works in this shop. He's not here today, so you're safe. Yes. It's called Mummy, The Mummy Returns. If your child had to gobble your brother, how would you feel? A 12-year-old girl walks out of your back room with 10 pounds and a bottle of vodka for a blowjob. You can call the police because the man's not guilty, he's innocent. He's an innocent man, he didn't do it. My kids are lying. My child didn't suck his cock in, her friend didn't suck his cock either. They wasn't even asked to suck his cock. They didn't come in your shop and they didn't go round the back. I just want you to know your brother is innocent. Amir didn't get a blowjob off a 12 year old. No, he didn't. He walked free. He's been cleared by the courts. He's not guilty. I believe you. Thank God Amir's free. He can get a blowjob off of all the other girls that come here that are underage. This shop was in court last week. Yes, I was there. I've got an audience now. Am I causing a disturbance? I'm telling the truth. The man walked free after getting a gobble off a fucking 13 year old. He offered them a bottle of vodka, miniature, and 10 pounds. He went to court, he walked free. He got off, because it's all right, yeah? It's all right for guys to get gobbles off a 13 year old, no, sorry, 12 year olds. It happened on the 2nd of October, 2012. Spread it. Tell everyone, because this man is innocent. He walked away. Every day I could come here. See that banana? Stick it in your gob. Pretend it's Amir's cock and that you're just a 12 year old. Yeah, this is it. CCTV footage. You even saw him on the CCTV footage going like that, meaning round the back. I'll meet you round the back. So they were here. Yes. Where did they get a £10 for the chicken from? They got it from Amir, didn't they? And then them girls had to sit in court and have a character witness and be fucking 
abused by the barristers and his defence. And then you saw my daughter yesterday and she abused you and Amir was with you and he was smiling. Now he wouldn't be smiling if he hadn't got away with something, would he? He'd be wanting to kill that kid for giving him a year of bullshit. But no, it's true. That's why he smiled at her. He shouldn't be in this area. Yeah, so there's no justice. That's what I believe because it's all right for like adults who got nonced up by Jimmy Savile, wasn't it? Yeah, like everyone wants to believe them now because they're adults. Yet no one wants to believe three children that are telling but only the truth because they couldn't make that sort of shit up. So there's no justice. Don't bother taking anyone to court for kids. You're dangerous, you are. We call you nonce nuggets. Because fucking people can't keep their hands off you.